you had better learn where you are, which is in Hawaii. You're in a native place. You have an obligation, number one, to understand the history of that place, and number two, you owe us something. Now the question is, what do people owe us? Number one, just as if you went to Kenya, or you went to Tahiti, or you went to Palestine, you would owe those people there an understanding and a respect for their culture. Number two, learn the history of white supremacy. What does white supremacy consist of? Well, our language was officially banned. All Hawaiian language schools were closed. We are not American! We are not American! We are not American! We are not American! Say it in your heart! Say it when you sleep! We are not American! We will die as Hawaiians! We will never be Americans! Today, as a native Hawaiian, one of the world's endangered indigenous people who is committed to the survival of my race, I am a member of the movement for Hawaiian independence, and I am here to discuss the liberation of my people. How do we show our people that they cannot be both American and Hawaiian because that is an impossibility? We all know that what is unique about our culture is its dependence on and love of the land. We came from this earth. We grew right out of this earth. And our survival depends, especially today, on understanding and connecting to this land of our ancestors. Our philosophy as nationalist Hawaiians should be Aloha Aina. Aloha Aina means, in economic terms, agriculture and aquaculture. It means preservation of rural areas and rural lifestyle, of fish farms, of streams, of forests, of kula lands. It means a profound cultural belonging to the land as our ohana. Our people don't understand that. That's why we have to educate them. If we seize this opportunity, this will be remembered as the beginning of a new struggle rather than the dying gasp of an old one.